Hello and welcome back to the Extra Crank in episode 2 of the Ultimate 2020 Kirkhill Trail Guide. In today's episode, I look to the south with a series of trails that start at or near the main fire road climb from the car park. If you find this guide useful, please remember to let me know in the comments and leave a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to see more content. As ever, I'll show you the trails on a map and try my best to point out exactly what you need to know to make the most of your next trip to Kirkhill Forest. Making this series has gone a long way to improve my own understanding of this trail network and so I hope it helps a few of you out too. Okay, welcome to Corner Cut. As with a few of the trails here, it starts with an exercise in just surviving the flat bog. But there's usually some kind of payoff. have people on that fire road. Thank you. That's all right. That finishes on this little push up. First time I've ever actually seen anyone on that trail. <laughs> that one's called Corner Cut because it literally cuts the corner off a fire road climb. So to get back up to where I was, I'm going to repeat that same fire road climb again. So see you at the top of the next one. So I'm back on an access track, which I've been on before. This is the same access track where we started Mike's Full Run, Slab Runner, a uh, little unnamed one as well. A couple of others start there. Um, but I've come at it from the other side, so I've sort of come from, from the east, from the sort of main fire road up from the car park. And I'm about to do a trail called Pedal Pedal Drop. It's kind of easy to find, I guess, because it's really at the exact kind of peak of this, of this rise. So the trail, the path here just drops down that way. You're with me along for the first time on this one. Well, at least it's fairly obvious where it goes. I was worried this one would be a bit obscure, but not at all. <laughs> Anyone else find it's always on the easy bits, you make silly mistakes. All right, it looks like we're at the top of something here. Oh, good. Oh, it's really rough. Quite a big drop there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is the bottom of Pedal Pedal Drop. Now on Trail Forks, it shows there being a trail starting, or well, continuing down this bank, almost at the point where that one comes out. But in reality, you need to turn left, come along here for 20 meters or so, and then hang a right on a little trail called Straight Down. And as it says in the name, not a huge amount of turning to be done on this one.
A good test of the suspension though. A nice little drop there. Out onto this fire road. Now you can continue it down this way, uh, but that's just completely flat and really peters out into nothing. So best bet when you get to here is just to turn left and then rejoin the small little push-up track which we've seen already on the bottom of corner cut that was the start of pedal pedal drop which was the last run i've done I'm not sure what order these are going to go up so chronology might be a little out but in the real world that was the last one i did oh i think that might have been my uh, start actually so this is a common start for two trails Fallen trees hidden downhill and gentleman's relish. If I could just stay left, I should stay on fallen trees. According to Trail Forks, this is a pretty obvious split, but Trail Forks doesn't always tell the whole truth. Like the other one, this is a slightly uphill start through the mud. Think of it like a warm-up. Right, it starts to point downhill now. So, I need to stay left on this run. Tight switch back, took me by surprise there. Not a real split that I've seen yet. So that was fallen trees hidden downhill. Um, on the way down though, I couldn't really see any split. But pushing back up, I found the split I was talking about. And it's right here. I don't know how I missed it, to be honest. Yeah, I think the left's a bit more obvious, which is the one I went down, but that is gentleman's relish. I'm gonna push back up. I'm gonna do the whole of gentleman's relish in one go including this running. Might cut this bit out if you've seen it before. Unless I do something hilarious like crash. You've seen up from the little path up to here. It's kind of uphill and boggy, so I'm not gonna ride that again. Instead, start down, fallen trees again. This time peel right. Another first for the extra crank. Some gentleman's relish. Right, keep right, just here. Bit of a traverse. There's another trail coming out there. Oh well. As you've probably gathered from these videos, Kirkhill is just a maze. A maze of little trails that come and go. Oh hey, yeah. Difficult to keep your speed up on this one. Lots of sharp little corners onto uphills. A gentleman's relish goes down here. Yeah, it's steep. Look at how close we are to the fire road and how far down it is. I suspect it's a bit steep here at the end. You're right. Yeah. 
we'll start down rocky top it's relatively flat to be honest um it's got a more menacing name than it than it really is really the key to it is just to carry as much speed as you can try not to break Yeah, it's really, really muddy today. There's a little deceptive thing off to the right, which I think used to be a trail, but it's so overgrown now that it's not really passable. Ooh. Coming up somewhere. Oh my gosh, so muddy. Yeah, here on the right. So it used to be a trail, but not anymore. Right, rocky stuff comes down this way, down to the fire road. That's that. However, personally, I find there's an even better way down from that last little bit there, which I'll show you now. It's called rocky tree so as you come out of the trees of rocky stuff this is where i've just come you'll notice i went left down uh, down to the bottom of rocky stuff but there is an option to veer right which takes you on a trail called rocky tree uh it comes to nearly the same place just the same little fire road but i don't know i find it a little bit more a bit more techy a little bit more challenging um especially on a damp day like this should be quite interesting not very long it's quite sweet Back to the fire road. So that's Rocky Tree, which I think is a better way of getting from that plateau to this track. And now there's a couple of options of how to get down. So from the bottom of Rocky Stuff, that was Rocky Tree, you've got two options Quentin's Last Stand or Fallen Tree. And I'll take a roll down Quentin's Last Stand. Straight through. A muddy rut into whoa into mud. Oh my god, oh it's a bog. Shit. Hmm. Seems to be a trail off to the side. Now you can avoid this flat part of Quentin's last stand by starting just a little bit further to the left and taking a trail called down to the wall. That's a drop. I'm not, not convinced. Right, bottom of Quentin's. Really nice. This is not really a trail. Someone's fresh cut it.
literally down to day 96. Let's do it, fallen tree. Normally I'd go straight on there, but that just looks disgusting in the mud. Disgusting. Let off the brakes as much as you can. And just absorb the bumps and let the bike carry the speed. There we go. That's good. Hang on left here. To set you up. This right hand berm. Into this left hand. Through the trees, through the bumhole, oh, out the other side, off camber, finish. It's the sort of trail that can just make you feel like a hero. <laughs> oh, absolutely love it. Okay, so just a little bit down the hill from Tight Trees is a very short uh, but little techie trail called Jump, Jump, Jump. And probably worked out by now, stuff here is named pretty literally. Alright, jump, jump, jump. Yes! That's quite easy really. Capra soaking it up. <laughs> ah. And then just along here and up to the left is the uh, way back onto that fire road. All right, so the very last thing you're likely to do when you come to Kirkhill Forest on your ride is to finish down the fun park. This is a sort of series of berms, rollers, tabletops, uh, which I guess are sort of designed to be a little bit like a pump track. In reality, it's, it's not the best designed. You lose your speed in a few of the corners Berms aren't quite what they need to be. Wet that up. And this is the car park. I'll see you on the next episode.